Assalamu alaikum dear fans, welcome back to Survey Designing and Civil 3D video series by Murad Farooq. Dear fans, today video tutorial we will be learn how to calculate surface volume or stockpile volume in Civil 3D. This video will also explain the following topics which one you can see on the display. These topics we will be explained with very details. So, in this video we will be do two methods first of all we will be calculate volume to adding two surfaces and again in the second part of this video we will do the same process by using one surface so you can use the first process for the accurate job we need to look our videos if you have any question please do a comment in the comments box i will try to respond at time so first of all we need to add our surface points suppose we need to add our existing ground points uh, the base surface point you can say just select from here the file and here add point to group and here enter the name for the points suppose this one is base points and click ok and next ok then again we need to import our second surface points from our location yeah, select this one and select the file format point testing nothing and click on add point group and enter the name here top so okay and press okay here and let's close this one now the next step just close the next step we will be create our two surfaces from here you can see the points group is already display so next go to the surface right click and enter the name of surface from here suppose this one is base surface and from here you can select the style 1 meter and 5 meter and press the ok button and again press the ok and next we need to go create our second surface which we can say top surface and press ok and now you can see our two surfaces created successfully so z spacebar and e spacebar to bring our points in the front so next we need to go to add the points in our both surfaces go to surface and add points from here just select base and click and apply and ok so the next the same process we need to add our points in our top surface click this one drag and go to the point groups right click and select top points group and now you can see our points is successfully added to our surfaces so the next step we need to go to the all points to hide our points from our surface go to this and select none and press apply and ok now you can see the points is hide from our surface the next ok so let's select this one we need to select the view select view object view we can see our object oh you can see the object viewer is here we need to select this option and from here we need to select the front then you can orbit your shape and you can see it's easily from here this is your surface now you can see so next we need to go to add or volume surface from here and select and enter the name of surface here suppose volume from here from these two options from the base surface we need to select our base and from the comparison surface we need to select our top surface and press ok now you can see our surface is created we need to click on this shape and go to the volume dash 
dashboard and need to enter add volume surface from here and click ok you can see your volume is here and already you can generate your report from here if you click on this you can see this is your cut and fill volume report so the next also you can go to the volume and right click go to surface properties and from here you can see this option and click on the volume and right click and copy and paste here paste here and this one is too small just select and press sc scale and select the base point and enter the scale suppose 10 we need to enter 10 or 12 you can see now it should be visible to look this is the same thing which one is shown on the volume dash and also show on the generate report this is the same things so okay so now is the second part of the video we need to do the volume calculation to importing just one surface just go to the same process import the points from here first of all we need to import our points suppose we need to import this of these points and select here from from here the format and just click on ok and let's close this one and here we need to go to the surface right click create surface and enter the name of surface from here suppose this is eg and select from here the style 1 meter and 5 meter and press the ok button and again the ok button and the next we need to go to a surface and click on this go to the definition and go to points group and add and click all points apply and ok now we need to enter Z space bar and S space bar to bring it on the display. So the next we need to go to the all points properties and need to hide the points from here. Just go here and select the point style and here none and press apply and OK. Now you can see all points is hide from the surface. So the next process we need to select this all surface to explode this and enter exp command from our keyboard and just select the second time to explode it again to bring it into surface that's why we are doing to this now you can see your this shape is explode now you can see here the surface is already deleted so again we need now to create two surfaces first one is the base and press ok again you can, and in this so go to the control right click and add and here you need to enter the descriptions of anything ok and just click on the boundary and again right click now you can see its surfaces edit surfaces add this surface surface properties we need to hide these details because we need to go to create the one surface again and next to go to create surface and enter here the top surface enter here top and press on ok and you can see it's created just we need to go to the points group and adds all points apply and ok so the two surface and the data is edit already next we will need we need to create one surface for the volume just select from here triangulation volume surface and here enter the name of surface suppose volume and from this base surface we need to select base and from the other one we need to select the top surface and ok and ok So the next we need to select our object and go to volume dashboard and click the same process and from here we need to add our volume surface click on this and press the ok button 
and you can see your volume is added your cut fill is here already you can generate your report from here now you can see your volume report is here your cut fill and all details is displayed here just close this one and need to go to the volume to the volume surface and surface property and go to this option again and volume and from here we need to right click and copy and paste here and click the origin where you want to display your details and just select this one and press SC scale from your keyboard and select the base point and enter the scale just suppose 12 or any where you can select now you can see your details is according to your dash board report or your generate report is the same also you can select this one and you can go to object viewer and you can see your surfaces from here just select front and you can see from here your both surfaces here details see this one okay so okay I hope this video is helpful for you. We will be seeing the next tutorial learning about one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.